the rain has finally stopped so uh, fortunately we've uh, managed to take a nice little break have a sandwich and uh, we've been parked here about 40 minutes half an hour 40 minutes Here's the Inter Marche. Uh, quite a large supermarket, but it is in this very rural setting. And just across the road over here, there's a farm with the cows making themselves known. Just over there. But as you can see, there's miles and miles of open French countryside here. Very, very pretty area. I'm glad we stopped off here. So quiet. Laundry, which is uh, dryers as well as washing machines. Well, after a little challenge of map reading, Google Maps, and uh, a huge shopping complex and commercial centre with all sorts of uh, big corporates, <laughs> retail outlets and all sorts of services, all in this area of Troyes, we found it. We found the uh, car, car parking area where the motorhomes were allowed to park and there were some electric charging points as well. Um, we thought this isn't where the MacArthur Glen uh, air is because it's just daytime parking for shopping. So uh, Sue went into the centre and met a couple of uh, French people that had got motorhome and they're here tonight as well. Um, there's probably room for about 50 vans here but I would say there's probably about 18, 20 at the most. Some over that side, through the middle and around the edge here. Um, so we're staying here for a couple of nights. We've got a full tank of um, fresh water. Our grey tank is uh, clear and our black tank is refreshed. So we're good to go for a couple of nights. We might change that because we've got still got a fair journey to get to Calais before Sunday. Um, my cold is still here. I'm still a bit sort of, um, you know, bunged up 
with my cold. But and um, Kevin's really struggling with his, so he's having an early night. I'm gonna go across and have a McDonald's, which is something I only ever do with the grandchildren for fun. Um, but there is one over there, and it's. Uh, I'm just feeling lazy tonight. I think it's going to be a bit of a sunset as well, so I'll try and catch that for you. But um, we'll see you in the morning if we don't see you before. Well, to catch you up, it's the next day and we've just done a couple of hundred miles heading north. Um, overnight Kev uh, experienced a few problems of being off grid with his uh, leisure battery so he made a decision this morning to leave the air uh, on the shopping centre. Uh, we didn't get to do any shopping but um, we can do shopping anywhere can't we? Um, it was a good decision because the, the roads, the, the motorways uh, are very clear this morning. We've made good time and we're making it back to Omar and we've booked on a campsite near there uh, for the next three nights. So it's a nice, a pretty area. Um, it's an area that we, uh, that we came through uh, on the way, uh, on the way down. So um, uh, we picked a different site this time and we're going to call in at the Carry 4. So, um, We've just taken a break. Um, diesel is about uh, we're down to down to just under a quarter of a tank, so uh, we need, we'll need to get some diesel today. That'll be a stop in Omar, no doubt, and uh, and also um, we're going to pick up one or two groceries at the carry for, and we st stopped there on the way in. Actually, I think um, we pulled off the motorway into that uh, little town to refuel last time. So um, that's the story. Um, a little bit of change of plan again. We seem to be doing that quite a lot on the uh, final leg of this tour, so uh, uh, hopefully the campsite will be a good one. Sue found it and uh, called them this morning and they've uh, said it's okay to rock up before four o'clock this afternoon. So, uh, so that's the plan.
well we've made it to our next site and this one's a little bit unusual um, it was an emergency find really, a little urgent we uh, were planning to stay on an air at Watton which I'll show you on the map it's um, just outside the town of St Omar which we visited on the way down but um, Sue contacted the owners, or noticed this little site and contacted the owners and uh, the gentleman did speak quite good English and helped us um, and we're staying here for a couple of nights um, main reason is because we needed a hook up and uh, the Watton Air does provide electricity but it, you only get about an hour for a euro or something um, here at least we've got showers if we want them, they're fairly basic um, and it's uh, yeah I mean, it's predominantly I think a summertime static caravan site uh, which summer's over now, so most of it is closed. But there's a few resident on here, seasonals, and uh, everyone's very friendly. And the gentleman who owns the place met us yesterday. Uh, we were asking him about how to get to the vets, and he very kindly offered to take us in his car. So uh, it's not always about the site, it's about the people. Um, particularly with this one, very, very friendly, warm welcome, um, understood our situation, and was willing to help us. So that was really good. Um, we're here for a couple of nights so I think what we'll probably do is go and find um, there's a Second World War Museum and on site here there's one or two bunkers that, so all around here there's history of Second World War um, so we're going to look into that today and Kev uh, knows quite a bit about it he's uh, been to some of the, um, the old uh, wartime beaches and so on so I'll be asking him uh, as we go along so I'll show you a little bit about the site, it's not much to see, um, but uh, this is where we are, just off the main road at um, St Omer. And right alongside the campsite is a couple of really lovely fishing lakes. Uh, I've seen a couple of Frenchmen fishing on the lake here while we've been here. Uh, we're just out for our morning walk, had a good night's sleep, dark skies. Very clear dark skies last night. Well there's an interesting feature as you enter the site here. This little tunnel. And I travelled in behind Kev. I'll show you the footage again over while I'm talking. And uh, Tracy actually got out to see if there was clearance. I thought there would be, but it's not entirely even. It's not an even circle, it's quite lopsided. Uh, especially at the far end, as you can probably see. But uh, we've got reasonable clearance with our motorhomes. There is a barrier and there's number plate recognition to the site here, but that appears to be open most of the time at the moment. Um, and a little children's play area. We're just out walking the dogs as you see and the reception and the welcome is over here which is where we pulled up and there's a bar that again is closed because we're in low season <clears throat> and behind there is the barn where the facilities are, the showers and toilets and black waste emptying point as well. But you see it's in woodland and there's lots of static caravans and one or two open pitches like the one in front of us here where camping is allowed. Hookups are available and uh, over, over here there's another couple of bunkers from the Second World War so clearly all around us here there's history. Um, just down there. I'll try and zoom in uh, where the bins are down there. <coughs> um, there's a couple of old buildings that were wartime buildings. Fascinating. And we're parked down the end of this little road where there's three or four 
large statics. Uh, I don't think they're occupied at the moment. And we're on the end. On a nice grass pitch. I'm away from the road a little bit now and as you can hear it's quite quiet. So there's a morning view of our little setup. Well, we snuck off the campsite at about 7.30 this morning and uh, we've just been, we've arrived at Calais, we've just been in the um, pet reception. Where's the, um, where's the thing that you gave us? Uh, I'll go to you my lovey. Um, yeah, we've just got some paperwork from the uh, gentleman who we saw in pet reception. We have to put that on our dashboard. And now we're going to drive around to uh, check in. And uh, same performance as last time, really, when we were coming into France. We're going back to Britain, back to England. So we'll see you around, uh, around the other side. board Euro Tunnel on the return journey aren't we Sue? Yeah. And um, all very smooth, it's raining or it has been. Um, we're just waiting for the um, the train to start the 35 minute trip back to Folkestone and uh, we've been through all the checks haven't we? Gas check, um, passport checks twice didn't we? Yeah. And then because uh, they do a French one and then a United Kingdom one. Um, what else do we do? We stop for coffee. Um, and now they're going to do the announcements. Yeah, do the announcements. And then um, we'll be um, moving along. So um, thank you for watching our tour. We've uh, really enjoyed bringing it to YouTube. And um, we've got a couple of weeks at home and then we're going to the NEC show 
in um, Birmingham, yeah. yeah, and we're staying at Summers Wood. So we'll see you on the next video, whenever that might be. Bye for now. Bye.